Good evening. This is the Rowley Finance Committee meeting of February 11th. The time is 7.22 and we call the meeting to order. And first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of our last meeting, January 14th. Uh, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes? I have. Okay. So do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make that motion. All right, I have a motion. Second, anybody? I'll second. Okay, second. Any other discussion? No? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I will abstain. Okay. Uh, the minutes are passed. Uh, seem to have lost item three, but that's all right. Discuss liaisons. Uh, anybody have any uh, inputs on the liaisons? Anything new coming up? Or? Nope. Okay. Uh, I really don't have anything either. Discuss budgetary guidelines from the selection. Uh, <clears throat> coming up on budget season, and uh, I think we all got a memo uh, from them to start giving the guidelines for the upcoming budget. And one of the things, of course, would be the uh, wage increases that have all been negotiated and things like that. And then uh, there's also, uh, they're recommending a, a level to 1% increase uh, on the budget. And so if we see any increases, uh, they'll be explaining what those increases are. And uh, we'll probably be discussing that in the budget. Uh, of course, there will also be budget increases for the fuel, light, heat, and all the other things that you really don't have too much of a control over fuel. Uh, so we'll be, all of you will be, all of us will be uh, looking at that very shortly. They just opened up the warrant uh, as well. so. Uh, for the town meetings, so we might also see some things there. Uh, Dave, you're not going to be getting the budgets starting on them until two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, meeting. everybody's working on them now. I think we're yeah. starting them on the 24th. Yeah, because you're not meeting next week because right, it's, it's a holiday. holiday next yeah. week, the week after we Okay. Uh, item six, inputs, comments to the town report. Uh, I think we discussed that last time. last time, and I thought there were, I don't think there were any other discussions on it. So no, Debbie was going to make up the charts. To right. Yeah. So uh, I don't have any other inputs or comments or so. I don't know whether we have to vote on what we were going to submit to that. My two lines or so from last week. I think it's in the minutes, isn't it? Right. Yeah, from last week, yeah. Right. The only thing is that we never voted on it. I, I don't, don't think we I don't ever think, have years in past years. I don't think so either, so but I'll just, no other inputs, then we'll say as is. Item 7, update 112 Central Street demolition status. Uh, I think we all got a memo in here that from uh, <clears throat> uh, I think it was from the Board of Selectmen but uh, I think it was from actually the attorney our attorney uh, but basically saying that the uh, town is not going to pursue any action on it that they're just going to let the since it does seem to be moving although some of us might disagree, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> moving in the direction of getting settled and demolished sometime in the near future. Uh, any questions or comments? Okay. That's near you, right? 
Yes. Next I, door, I'm next a door. next door a butter to it. So there's what you said there was mice and Well, <laughs> we're into the second generation of rats, but I don't want to pursue that too much. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> uh, item eight is the status of the finance committee seat. Uh, I spoke with um, Joan Peterson, and she said she had a couple of people that uh, she was interested in, but uh, for some reason or another, they weren't as interested or had other conflicts or so. So there's still an opening out there. Uh, and so if you're listening tonight, and especially if you have uh, children in Triton or Pine Grove, uh, because we would like, you know, a person that maybe has, wants to work on the school committee along with uh, Peter. Uh, but uh, we'll take uh, any uh, qualified person. You just uh, give Joan Peterson a call or send in uh, your information to the Board of Selectmen and uh, they'll take it from there. Do we need to vote for the payroll? No. I don't think so. All we need to do is sign it. Yeah. Well, I thought we used to vote to pay, pay it, so. Uh, if it's new that way, that's okay. No, as far as I know, it's uh, just uh, signing for it. Okay. You want to vote for it? I mean, we've got plenty of time. <laughs> 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 okay, I mean, just, just I'll make a motion that we approve the payroll. All right, uh, have a motion. Second. I'll, I'll second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion is carried. Peter needs to sign it. Right. I can't vote because I don't know what payroll we're talking about. Our no, this secretary. Is, oh. This is our secretary. Uh, you can take a look at it now if you want. But uh, in the meantime, any other business? Gee, we've almost made it to 10 minutes. <laughs> we had set up a second meeting for February, but if the, they're just going to start to get budgets, and I'm not sure that, that we really that need we, to meet yeah. that one. On the 25th. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'd like to still hold it uh, right now, uh, but maybe next week, if it looks like there's no action or so, then I'll just cancel it then. Okay. But I uh, just keep it for the 25th and let you know next week if uh, if there's anything going to happen. Okay. Yeah, because the selectmen not meeting next right. week. Right, I don't think anything's going to happen, so but I just happen, yeah. don't know for sure. So then in March, do we need to go to weekly, or are they going to come that quickly, or do we need to we still? Uh, I don't think they would be coming. Uh, I'll, I'll look at uh, what we did last year and, and see. But uh, if we do cancel, if I do cancel February uh, 25th, then uh, I'll we'll schedule it for maybe the second uh, Tuesday in March. Okay. And then from, at that point, we can decide whether we need to go week to week. Yes. Yeah, I just check with the town administrator. She said there might be a half a dozen, uh, maybe as many as eight of the smaller budgets ready for the selectmen's meeting on the 24th. So if you up to you if you want to decide to get a couple of those out of the way before you. Well, we could do on, that then. The onslaught of right, right, the bigger yeah. ones, you right. know. Okay. Because once the big ones come in, they'll be like right. the usual, they all all of a sudden you're inundated with mm -hmm. with right. all of them, all yeah. kinds of budgets. And but last year we also mm -hmm. wanted to look at all of them, like get before we really voted, right? A sense of all the budgets and whether or not it. Um, I right, yeah. wanted to preview them before the meeting, so. Well, and also not vote on some of the until we saw more to get a sense of what was going on and that there was equity between departments, things like that. Okay. It's just what we had done last year. Right. That doesn't mean we have to do the same thing. You know, next week we're supposed to be this. We're supposed to have a school uh, a budget thing. Uh, last week it got canceled because of the snowstorm. I think it's supposed to be tomorrow now, so I'll be going to that. That starts at seven. 
Okay. I don't know if, there might, if there's going to be anything that to mention. You know, I don't. Yeah. You know, I read in one of their meeting reports that their fiscal 15 budget was like three million or so over what this year's budget was. Mm. Three million, right? I don't know, but I mean, it's going to definitely be more because the, you know, I mean, there's the assessment changes, and I think Valley's going to be paying more. You know, but I don't know what the the numbers. I didn't think it was three million, but you know, but I don't know. Yeah, well, that, that's that's the number I saw in one of their things, which I'll I'll be there giving to you. The, uh, mm. well, the the big the biggest issue, of course, is how many students we send, and there is all three towns have dropped uh, student enrollment has come down from last year, and Rowley's problem is going to be that. Salisbury Newbury's dropped quite a bit. Ours only dropped by a smaller amount. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick up a, a larger share of the percentage of the budget than what we've had in the past. So that's, that's going to hurt us a little bit. And I, th I believe tomorrow night the school committee is going to, when Peter and I were at that last meeting there, mm -hmm. they presented a budget yeah. of level services. Which means the services will stay the same, and then there, oh, there's a, a number of increases and decreases. But that was like a fictitious budget because they didn't count on any increase for the teachers, and we know they're going to get an increase yeah, I mean too. They, that, that, they tried know. to put together the numbers it's, they had, yeah, and, and then they did they did put aside uh, a figure that you know they mentioned a figure that because they're going to be bargaining with the teachers to, for a new contract, so I think they kind of threw in a two percent increase if as, mm -hmm. as a budgetary figure. Over and above what they came in with. Yeah, they used two percent, but they used seven and a half percent for for the health insurance, which I'm not sure why they're doing that still. Well, you know, health insurance, from, I but believe, on even ours is the uh, we're talking maybe five or six percent. So they they, they put they, in, they're, they're conservative at this point. Well, they put in seven and a half percent for the health insurance. Yeah, well, so because I think that's a little bit on the high side. It, it may be high, but this week, what they, gonna, as they get what they do is if they, they meet tomorrow night, they're coming in with. Number one, the school committee was going to come in and make recommendations on how they felt they wanted to, where they wanted the budget to be. And then as time goes along, they'll get the health insurance figures in, if they're going to be bargaining, and, and so on and so forth. So that's just, just a very preliminary preliminary budget. And the problem they have, like we all do, is they've got a, in the uh, regional agreement of the time frame, mm -hmm. they have certain dates that they have to get the budgets to, yeah, Peter. to yeah. us. Mm -hmm. Number so, eight or into the town, so <coughs> what they're dealing with. But I mean, obviously, that's going to be a big, a big issue is how much that budget goes up. And, and they're still waiting. To, no one has any idea what the state's going to do. The government, the governor's budget, basically <coughs> level funded the cherry sheet figures for the cities and towns, which is our state aid, and then they gave a small pittance of an increase to the schools, and uh, and then. You usually were hopeful for the, I know I didn't go, but a couple Thank of select went to the MMA I meeting and it's the <coughs> House of Representatives, the Speaker of the House, kind of promised that they would increase local aid and increase school aid, but that's, you know, at this point, it's, everything's still preliminary, so we put our budgets together the best we can, and hopefully after tomorrow night the school will have a, they usually start out with a high figure and then work it down <laughs> based on how things go, so hopefully we'll get some better information. Jay, what is the reason for the um, reduced enrollment? Is it traditional just, population yeah, Just shift? population shifts and a few people that have been around for years. We had a, a few years back, we had a huge issue with the school choice out mm -hmm. versus very few school choice in, and basically that signal the population that was involved in all that has basically moved on. The kids have graduated. Right. And we're now on the positive side. We have a, more choice in than we do choice out. And so that's just the that seems to be an issue that's just kind of gone by the wayside and mm -hmm. not, not a big issue anymore. So. And then we still don't know what Whittier, yeah. you know, the, I don't know what the enrollment is for Whittier, which is a, that's also a big, it, cha it can change dramatically. Two or three students changes that figure dramatically. It's all coming. That's why I say it's all of a mm. sudden you, you get hit with <laughs> all kinds of budgets that you know you're going to need to spend some real time. 
going through, I'm sure. So if you get some of those small ones out of the way, it's a good idea. My recommendation is up to you guys to decide what you want to do. Okay, any other discussion, questions? We have a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.